Good morning, CDT day 107, and it is the day we have all been waiting for, probably since I left my last cool mountain range in Colorado. We are going through the heart of the Wind River Range. Um, just looking at uh, Gut Hook and seeing uh, what type of terrain we're going to be going through today, and there are lakes on top of lakes. Um, probably a couple dozen, I think, I've seen just for the 25 to 30 miles that we will be walking today, so... Um, should be a lot of big, beautiful bodies of water, and I'm sure we'll be seeing some big towering mountains from rocky peaks to, in the backgrounds as well. So this should be a big, beautiful day, and uh, should also be one of the biggest highlights of the entire CDT. So I'm getting pretty excited. Um, still in my tent, obviously. It's about uh, just shy of 8.30 a.m., so we're taking our time. Uh, I'm going to get up now and uh, start packing stuff up and then have a little bit of breakfast, like a hot chocolate, um, and then uh, we will be on our way. Jesus got a nice fire going. Now I'm going to have some breakfast, so I'm boiling some water, two carnation and some breakfast with some cocoa powder, and then I also just had a Nature Valley protein bar and a Quaker Chewy bar, so um, getting that energy ready for the day. Um, beautiful fire, beautiful camp. And it's all going to be a beautiful day. It is all blue, not a cloud in the sky at the moment. So hopefully that keeps going throughout the day. It is 9.40 a.m. on Wednesday, August 14th. And we are on the move. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, just attempted a swim here in Dad's Lake. Did not go so well. Incredibly cold. Very, very, very cold. Not for me. Not good for me. No, no, sir. Cold. Feeling pretty tired and lethargic right now. Um, last night, the couple that gave us a hitch and then camped with us, they had a lot of like leftover uh, fried chicken from a restaurant that they got it from on the way out uh, to here. So they offered it to us. We cooked it up on the fire and uh, ate that. And then last night, both of us, Jesus and I, at different hours, had to go to the privy for an emergency bathroom break. Um, so I have a feeling that there might have been a little bit of bacteria in the uh, chicken after probably having sat in the car for so long. So um, I think that might have something to do with why I'm feeling so tired and weird. Um, so right now we're at 10 and a half miles on the day and I believe it's about 2 p.m. So uh, not a terrible amount of progress but still keeping about a 
a two and a half mile per hour average, including the swimming break we had. So um, still doing pretty decent, but just mentally I'm not in it right now, which is too bad because this stuff is pretty amazing. But I'm still taking the time to stop and stare and really drink in the views because uh, it's pretty incredible out here. Just have to fight my body to uh, make it through. So we'll be just fine. Just uh, updating you guys so you know why. We're not putting in too many miles today, so it's possible that we stop early, but uh, right now that's not the plan. Um, right now the plan is to get 24 miles in today and camp at one of these lakes, so we'll see how that goes. All right, the uh, lethargy has finally gotten to us. Uh, we are going to set up camp pretty early today just to enjoy the winds pretty properly. Um, had potato mashed potato bowls at lunch just to try to get that extra energy, but it hasn't seemed to punch through. So we're just crawling along. I'm having a terrible pace, so I think we're better off just hanging out. But we found this beautiful lake uh, situated right at the base of a beautiful mountain, and uh, we found some places to camp that are uh, have pretty good wind breaks by them and a place that we can set up a fire pit so I can show you guys that and then uh, this lake should be it's super clear so it's perfect for some uh, scuba uh, some scuba diving you know give that a go um, snorkeling rather so um, that's the end of the day uh, I'll give you guys some statistics uh, while I have them in my head we went 14.3 miles today uh, but we did do a little over 2800 feet of climbing so did a decent amount of climbing um, maybe not so decent distance but um, we'll make up for that in the coming days for now we're just gonna enjoy it uh, it's a beautiful place and we want to make sure that we're not just uh, trudging through it you know sleepwalking so let's uh, give you guys a view of camp so the wind is coming from this direction towards us. Oh, how do you like them sun gloves? Pretty nice, huh? Um, so I'm going to set up my camp right here. So I have a natural windbreak with the rock and the tree. Jesus is even going to squeeze himself in right over here, um, way down in there. He has himself a rock and tree natural windbreak. So um, this is our view. Bam! On this beautiful lake and beautiful mountains. There's even another peak over there. So we have a bunch of nice stuff. Um, so in here, I'm going to set up a fireplace somewhere in this area where it's mostly a windbreak. And I'm going to have the back going this way so that we can still, uh, while having the fire, look at the lake and the mountain. And there's also double help because since the wind is going this way, um, if we have the back that way, when the wind blows through, the smoke is always going to travel towards the lake, and then we won't get it in our faces and eyes. So um, should be a pretty nice benefit. So now I uh, set up camp. I'll show you guys how I set up the fireplace, and then we're probably going to do some snorkeling uh, down there in the water while we have some time and light. Uh, it feels a little bit warmer than Dad's Lake, so we should be able to get used to it quickly. And I already saw a bunch of trout in there, so we might get to see some fish. Oh, nice. Alright, first step to building the fire pit is to collect rocks. So, just collected a pile there just from uh, a bunch of random places around me. Uh, usually I'll make a fire pit on an existing location, but there's none around here, so I'm making a new one. We've identified these as some natural seats. So, a chair there, backrest there, even, even a little ottoman. So, some good seats, perfect windbreak. So, I am locating the fire pit right around here, or place, fireplace right around here. 
Um, there are a couple rocks in the way, but I'm just going to ignore that. Okay, so it's a bit of a fireplace right there. Doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, it's okay, it has some cracks in it that you know let some air through, but overall, the majority of the wall reflects the heat back to the user. And um, it's perfect for uh, keeping, keeping you warm. And then also with the wind blowing, like I mentioned before, it'll go that way so we don't have to deal with smoke. And then got chair there chair there so you can sit I can sit here laying with my back up against this fire over here totally comfortable not in any danger of burning anything looking out over that beautiful mountain and then, buddy number two uh, I can sit here just chilling same thing right in front of the fire perfect so um the only thing that I don't like about this is that bugger's in the way, but it's stuck pretty firmly in the ground, so that's just going to stay. Not a big deal, though. Um, then, other than that, um, I would normally probably like rip out some of the grass in there, but it's really not a big deal, so I'm just going to lay down some kindling, some food. Actually, I'll show you guys how I make the fire as well, so we'll be doing that in a little bit. All right, now that the fireplace is up, it's time to find some wood. And uh, I think it just hit the mother load. Yeah, I think that'll do just fine. Yeah, this ought to be a good start, I'd say. Let's drag that back to camp and uh, break her up. Yeah, I'd say that ought to hold us over for a while. So I'll break it into the appropriate pieces to fit in the place and then uh, get this thing started. All right, just got all the wood processed. So, I think we got plenty for our fire tonight. Um, Jesus got the fire set up. Since it's all dry, it's super easy, so don't have to do anything special. Um, usually, I um, my dad taught me the cabin method, so I put two logs here, all the kindling in the middle, and fire starter, and then crisscross sticks back and forth each way, raising it up. Uh, what that does is it gives it plenty of air for the fire to move through, and then also as the when you start a fire, it moves up, so you want a stack of wood high enough so that you're catching wood at every level and uh, gets the fire going. Luckily, since it's super dry, um, just throw a couple sticks on the ground, light it up, and uh, just keep piling them on, and we have fire. So, um, yeah, that's how we got the fire made up, and that should last us, I'm sure, the rest of the day into the evening. We'll have some uh, dinner on it and enjoy it. And <coughs> Might do a little swimming soon as well. Whew, down by the water, just really enjoying the insane beauty of this area. And uh, the fish are jumping. There's quite a few out there. They're pretty small, like eight inch long. Uh, looks like some trout and possibly like a pink salmon. I'm not sure. I'm um, not very good at fish, so if you're a fisherman, uh, please don't take my word for it. You probably know better than I do and you don't even have an image of it. Either way, I think it's time for a good old snorkel. <gasps> okay, that's one, that's one, that'll do. That's two. Hold it, hold it. That's it. Get used to it, baby. That's so rad. I got some snorkeling in. I've always wanted to be an Instagram model. Maybe this is a good time to start.
nothing like a good swim and a little modeling shoot to uh, enjoy the evening. So uh, one of the really nice side benefits of getting into some cold water is that um, my muscles feel all relaxed and feel a bit better now. I, I hate getting into really cold water, so Dad's Lake didn't go so well today, but um, this lake here that I don't actually know the name of, to be honest, was a bit milder, so I was able to take it after um, you know, quite a bit of uh, convincing myself. So, And now I'm uh, here enjoying this beautiful fire, looking out over the mountains. It's an excellent evening. Probably top five, if not top three, campsite I've ever been. So it's awesome. As if this campsite isn't cool enough, a full moon just popped over the mountain. Right exactly where I'm sitting. So you got a really cool view here. Just uh, hanging out by the old fire. Letting her burn out. So I am calling that the end of the day. Because uh, I'm about to go to bed soon. So overall, a short day, but a really fun one and a, some beautiful stuff as well. So had a great time and uh, no regrets. So I will see you guys in the morning.